Have you read a great story or listened to a great story and want to share with your friends and classmates what you think about it? Well, let's learn how using Biblionasium. The first step is getting to the catalog. It is at destiny.brian.k12.ga.us. Once you're there, click on Richmond Hill Elementary School. Our catalog will look like this. So what you're going to want to do is come over and click log in. Now remember when you log in it's going to be your lunch number for your username and your lunch number for your password. Once you type those in, click submit. Now I'm logged in and I can tell because I see my name here. Your name will display when you log in. Next I'm going to come over and I like to call this button the hamburger because it has almost like two buns and a piece of meat in the middle. So I'm going to click on my hamburger and I'm going to go down until I see Biblionasium. I'm going to click on Biblionasium. Now, once I'm there, I am in a whole new world. I can read book reviews here that other people have posted. I can get suggestions about books. There's one. That looks really cool. You may even find some book reviews by some of our own students hosted on this main page. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to want to pick an avatar. So you'll click on pick an avatar. And you can pick a picture that kind of represents who you are. Once you find a picture, you're going to click on it and that becomes your avatar. Now, today we're going to look at how we can start a book review. Now, first, before we can start a book review, we have to add a book to our collection. So you click on My Books. So I'm going to need to add some of my favorite books to my bookshelf. The story that I want to add is Martina the Beautiful Cockroach. So I'm going to type that in. When I find my book, I can add it to my shelf. When I add it to my shelf, I will select if I am reading it, if I've read it, if I have read it, I want to read it or I own it. With this book, I have read it. So I'm going to check I have read it. And it will add it to my shelf. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to review the book. So I'll click the review tab. Now when I review a book, I have to decide how many stars. I really like Martina the Beautiful Cockroach. So I'm going to give it five stars. And I would say this is one of my favorites. Only check that if you love this book and it's one of your absolute favorite books. My opinion of the book is this book was awesome. And I think other people would like this book if they like stories that are about animals. There were a lot of animals in this story. Now when I write my review, I need to tell a few things about the book. I need to tell something interesting about the book. I also need to talk about the setting and some of the main characters. So I'm going to do that. This, this book was about a young cockroach named Martina. She is looking for a husband. A lot of different animals visit her and try to win her, but she uses the coffee test to find the right one. The main characters in the story are Martina, her grandmother, and the little mouse. Now a personal note is something that only I will see. Uh oh, I almost forgot the setting. This story is a Cuban folktale. It takes 
place in a small Cuban village where Martina lives. Okay, so my book review includes a description of the characters. It talks about what happens in the story, but I don't give away the ending. And it talks about where the story takes place. So I'm ready to save my book review. And when I want to take a look at the books that I've read, I can always click on my books. And there's Martina. And there is my rating. How fun is that? I can also recommend this book to a friend. Uh-oh, no one's recommended a book to me yet. But I want to recommend a book to somebody. So let me, I would like to recommend Martina to someone. So I'm going to click on Martina and I'm going to recommend it. So here I can pick a friend to recommend the book to. These are my friends that are in my class. So you can pick a friend that you would recommend a book to, and then you can check the box as to why you'd recommend this. I like this book, and I hope you will too. And you can send your recommendation. And maybe you'll even get recommendations. You can click on my recommendations and see what other people have recommended to you. You can always click home and read more suggestions for books you might like. I hope you enjoyed learning more about Biblionasium. You can always review the books you'll be listening to in story time. Bye, boys and girls. Boys and girls, make sure you join Miss McDonough's Counseling Google Classroom. It's easy to do. Remember, once you log into your Chromebook or computer, when you're in Google, click on the waffle in Classroom. Then select the plus sign and join class. The code you'll need is H-I-L-P-G-6-V. Boys and girls and teachers, one fun thing you can do is write about what you're reading. Here's a review. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. And remain standing for the moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you had fun listening to Mrs. Daisy is Crazy, you'll love Mr. Klutz is Nuts. It's a story about a zany, fun principal in the My Weird School series. Visit us at flipgrid.com weird school. Remember to wash your hands. Hey girls, I'm going to talk about what ha proper hand washing today. We need to use soap when we wash our hands. Hand sanitizer is not good enough. So the first step is to turn the water on. Get your hands wet. Get some soap on your hands. Do not put your hands back under the water, but get the bubbles all built up on your hands. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Some people like to sing the happy birthday song when they do this. And then the time that we sing the happy birthday song, most or all of the germs will come off of your hands. Now it's time to rinse. Once you've rinsed all the soap off your hands, grab a paper towel or two, dry your hands, and then turn the faucet off with the paper towel to prevent germ spread. Happy birthday! Today we are celebrating birthdays for Brayden and Jax Ann. We hope you have an amazing birthday today. Remember, pause. Positive attitude. 
act respectfully, work responsibly, and stay safe. Can you guess today's mystery reader? We did not have a winner for our mystery reader for yesterday. Our mystery reader was Miss Harvey. Yesterday's trivia question was, what is the largest planet in the solar system? Congratulations, Serenity! Hey guys, today I'm telling you the trivia question. The qu trivia question is, what is the largest planet of the solar system? And the largest planet of the solar system is Jupiter. That's the trivia question. I hope you had a great day, Wildcat. Today's question is, what is a group of lions called? Good luck, Wildcats. Visit the Media Center blog and click on the Morning News link. There we have a link to the Virtual Media Center. That is where you'll share your Flipgrid response, share a joke, a book review, or your mystery reader response. It's time for the joke of the day. Hi, my name is Mallon. I have a good joke. Why did the boy eat his homework? Why? Because his teacher told him that it was a piece of cake. Bye. We are so proud of you boys and girls. Keep up the good work. Remember to check your Google Classrooms for assignments from your teachers.